What's up guys? I have a new knife for you today. This is the Hinder Knives half track and it is the Gen 2. So you can see the little triway pivot symbol there. You can see it has a a lock bar insert with the um over travel stop and also has the hinder over travel stop. So you got two over travel stops, double protection. But um this knife is just really awesome. Um I didn't know I was gonna like it as much as I did until I got it in my hands and I'm just glad I was able to to get pick one up. Well, one of the great things about this knife is the, besides the looks, I think it looks awesome, is the action. Um, hold on, let me, I'm going to compare it to the, uh, to the small, um, or Hinder or XM18 3 inch. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry, I had to grab my XM18. So the, um, as you can see, the small XM18 is a little bigger, um, but what I was wanting to say is take a look at the difference in the flipping ta flipper tabs. This one is kind of angled down versus like a little pointy here, and what that means is you can really get a very comfortable push button. And a really awesome thing is this little ramp right here. After your finger comes down and flips down, it hits right here on this angle. And it's like, it's almost like the same principle of, let's see if I have, when a blade has that cup right there and it hits the lock bar, how it disperses the, the, um, the shock of it. Well, the same thing with your finger when it comes down here and hits right here because of the, the, roundness right here it disperses that on your finger and it feels very it's very comfortable landing right here so the combination of the good flipper tab hitting this which is really comfortable and then the detent being dialed in really good makes it a really good great um flipping action and very very good to flip you can it also has these fullers here um you can spidey flick with those I have not been able to thumb flick them. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I can't really thumb flick this one, but you can do a. Mm. Well, I did do a spidey flick. Let me try again. Yeah, I did it, but it, it's not. You can do it with practice, but it's it's a little tricky, as you just saw. Um, Hinder's fit and finish is great with these new models. They are really, he does a really good job. Um, blade stock is pretty thick, and that's, to me, it's a good thing because you're not, you know, it's a harder use knife. You can do whatever with it, and you don't have to worry about your tip breaking off or anything like that. Uh, it does come down pretty good right here. It's still going to be thick behind the edge. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and put the stats up right here. So pause and read for the stats. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the the lock bar is very easy to disengage, which is always a good thing. Um, and, oh, this does have the 20V blade steel. And I wanted you to see what it's like in the hand. So... When it's like this, you can get about a three and a half. The way it's angled down right here, it kind of fills the hand pretty good. You feel like you have enough fingers on the knife. There's nothing sticking out. Oh, and that's that's the other thing I want to say. This jimping is very, very nice. It's not super aggressive, but it gives the fact that it um, comes up like this it gives your thumb a really good spot to, to land on um, for my hand it would have been a little better if it would have been up more but uh, this is pretty good one thing I wish this knife would have had is a bigger choil right here because it would have been nice to choke up like this I think that would have been a really great idea 
Um, he does do bigger choils on the XM18 to let you choke up on. So I kind of wish that it was done more on, on this one. But like I said, it's um, it's not bad. But uh, really, really like this knife. Very fun to to open and close. Um, very good user. Uh, as they call these um, little big knives. Oh, <laughs> think I just cut myself. Yep, it's sharp. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that in. I won't edit that out. At least I'm not bleeding though. Not yet. Anyway, this is a good work. That's what I was gonna say. It's a good working knife. So, anyway, guys, let me go get a band aid. And um, if you have a chance to pick one of these up, grab one. And hope you guys have a good one. See you on the next one.